Hi friends, hello the world. Welcome back to this episode of Complain Free Life. And I apologize for my voice. I feel like I'm a bit sick um, after traveling so many countries that I was now thinking. Actually, I started with Serbia and then um, I went to Italy and then Ukraine and then Italy again and then France and now back home in Kyrgyzstan. So, and that's all within uh, the first five months of the year. So that's why I feel like I'm a bit exhausted of traveling and, uh, and at the same time adjusting to um, different time zones and different temperatures. Um, but nevertheless, I want to talk to you about this exciting topic uh, that I keep introducing every week. Um, around transitioning and one of the topics that I think comes up very often is how do we measure if transition is going well or not and I talked about this in different uh, contexts maybe uh, is in some way or another but I wanted to now conceptualize it and put it all together into one so that you can use it to your own transitioning journey right so how do we measure that uh, that, uh, that we're ready for transitioning or that we're transitioning well and uh, this is how we want things to be going the way we want to. Um, I have put together, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Six stages of uh, measuring your mindset around transitioning to see whether you are there or not. And I will explain to you um, each of them and how you could use them um, to your own advantage and never against yourself. Um, and also there are other uh, measurement tools that you can use, obviously. So for instance, one of the favorite ones that I often use as well in my own coaching or coaching my clients, that is um, um, evaluate yourself from one to 10 as to how much do you believe that this is happening or this is working or you're ready or whatever the question you're asking yourself where 10 being um, the highest of yes I believe it and one being no I don't believe at all so this is the common uh, measurement tool that we use oftentimes in uh, whatever the coaching the one that I'm going to present to you now is going to be another addition to that. And um, if someone has difficulty with numbers, for instance, I know that some of my clients um, like percentages. Like when I ask them, they tell me, well, I uh, believe in it 50% uh, of the time or 60% of the time, right? So there are uh, those people who use the um the percentage time uh, uh, measurement in those people who use the one to 10. And this could be another way of looking at things of uh, measuring. So these six stages that I will be talking about is obviously um, usable in the most arbitrary way for yourself. What's important here is to detect how that makes you feel when you are reasoning with yourself right so whatever you're reasoning with yourself how does it make you feel if it makes you feel scared or not um or frozen and not really acting on it then probably um it's not really what you want to be doing or you want to be reevaluating your uh your transitioning but if um you tell yourself that this is um, how it is in the measurement scale and it feels good to you then probably it means that you are ready to be transitioning whichever way you want to right so before we use these tools let me um, look at some of the um, ideas that you may have in terms of transitioning and how you could apply these stages so let's say that you had the idea of transitioning to a life that you really want to create, where you have um, balance of work and life, you are in charge of what you really want to create. Uh, you are also um, have the feeling of a peace, um, content and fulfillment, satisfaction. Um, and you feel like this is 
how I meant to be living my life, right? So this is the idea of transitioning that you want to create. And here are the stages that I would love for you to uh, apply to each of those um, ideas that you have about transitioning. So the first one is, um, it might be for many of us is it's impossible, right? So it's impossible that this is happening. It's impossible that anyone can experience this. Or some people may say it's impossible for me, but it's probably possible for other people, right? So this might be uh, some of the ways that we um, qualify or um, evaluate or label it to say, therefore I'm not doing the next step, right? So a lot of people, as I was saying, uh, in the previous episodes, a lot of people just stay in this it's impossible level and they don't really move forward to the next one because they don't know how or they feel like uh, it's impossible means that there's no other way. But the whole purpose of me introducing you to this measurement is for you to consider that this is only the first stage and there are five other stages that you can go through to get to the stage where you really feel like you can do this right so it's all up to you how you want to move yourself uh, through this and I'll be talking about that as well once I introduce the six stages so uh, let's say that your brain says it's impossible that uh, you can do this right and then the next stage you can bring yourself to in terms of your mindset is it could be possible what if it could be possible, right? So questioning it to say, what if, what if it could be possible? And then the next stage you could bring yourself to is it's probable. Now, as I said in uh, previous times is that I am not an uh, English native speaker. So therefore uh, possibilities and probabilities have maybe different meanings to uh, native speakers. So that's why you use whatever makes sense to you in the next stage, right? So this is how I have learned to make sense to me, but you may have different ways of measuring, but you understood that uh, idea is to get ourselves from the impossibility to the possibility and to uh, us doing things. So to come to the next level is from it's probable to it's doable, right? Um, in the previous stages, uh, our brains could be saying things like, well, mm, it's difficult, it's not possible, or it's possible maybe, but it's difficult or whatever it is. Now we're coming to a stage where it's doable, right? So we could actually do this. And then coming to the next stage, which is, it's inevitable, so it's happening. We can see this happening somewhere close, or it's we can see things happening, or uh, we can see things changing in this way or that way, and then coming to the stage where it's a done deal, meaning that we have done it. Now, uh, when I introduce these stages, you may say that it's too abstract or uh, too difficult to measure. How do I know which one is which? So don't complicate yourself all of this. Just use whatever makes sense to you in terms of getting your mindset from one stage to another and the next one, the next one to get to its done deal stage. Because there is no scientific way of measuring your mindset, obviously, uh, except your own way of measuring. So that's why don't uh, make things complicated or think like, um, well, I don't know uh, how specific it needs to be or uh, what are the percentages it needs to be or uh, do I need to really be 100% or whatever it is. Don't do any of that. Just ask yourself, whatever you're believing, for instance, if you're believing that it's not possible to transition to a life you're really wanting, right? If you're there, it's not possible, right? So that's a measurement. Then how can you get yourself from it's not possible to what if it could be possible? And then from that, it could be possible to what if it's probable? And then exploring options of how you could do it and then say it is doable. And then going to it's in inevitable and then to going to it's a done deal. So 
um, certain things actually that we do in our daily lives that we are so used to doing that we believe so much that it works, it's happening all the time. Uh, we don't even question it. We are already at the stage of it's the done deal or this is how things are, right? A lot of the things that we believe to be true are we are at the highest level of belief that it's how things are. It's a done deal. So that's why, um, for instance, maybe just to give you an example of where we believe that it's a done deal uh, might be is that, um, so promotions exist. People get promoted all the time. It's a done deal, meaning that we know that it exists, it's happening, or uh, we have been maybe promoted already several times. So we know that for many of us, uh, promotion is a done deal. Or for many of us, it could be um, a working uh, 24 seven during emergencies, a done deal. This is how things are. This is how things work. Right, it's a done deal. We don't even think about it's impossible that we work 24 seven or it's impossible this and this. We just say, this is how it is. So it's just that um, these are the beliefs that you've been practicing so much. You've been seeing examples of it so much that you are so good at recognizing as it's a done deal. But certain other things that you haven't done yet, you are afraid of doing it. Um, or you are wanting now something totally different than you've been wanting all your life, and then you're wanting to change to that, and your brain will be offering a lot of it's impossible, simply because uh, you have been uh, having your trajectory in one direction, and now if you want to change to another direction, your brain is like, no, it's uh, impossible, we don't want to do this, it's hard, it's difficult. We don't even know what the vision is. We don't even know what the uh, values we want to pursue. Why change things when it's working? Um, let's just change to something um, uh, not radically different, whatever it is. So your brain wants to keep it in that comfort zone or in that complacency zone, right? So that's why uh, having this ability to understand that you can change your mindset from it's impossible to it's a done deal is possible and people do it all the time may help you open up your new perspectives, new ideas as to how you can get yourself from one place to another, from one extreme to another extreme, right? So now let's uh, talk about how you can do that, how you can get yourself from one extreme to another. So the best way I know how is to do this through coaching because I have done all of that myself through coaching and I don't think I would be able to achieve any of this without the coaching. So if you have um, a coach that you can turn to or if you want to coach with me, I will be very happy to do that. If you are afraid uh, to coach with someone or if you feel you're not ready and if you feel like you want to do it on your own, that's absolutely fine as well. You just need to be consistent in your brain to be doing that on a regular basis to track how your progress is going from one to another. And the way that you can do it, coaching yourself, right? So one of the best ways, obviously, that you can coach yourself is questioning all of that beliefs around it's impossible. Right, so why it's impossible, what's standing in the way, um, what beliefs we're having that is not allowing us to go from impossible to maybe it's possible, right? So what's the bridge between the impossible and maybe it's possible? Uh, what's the bridge that we can build along the line? What need we need to be believing in order to come from it's impossible to maybe it's possible? And then you move forward and more forward with this. So you keep tracking of what your, how your beliefs might be changing from one to another. And one of the other ways, uh, most effective ways to change things is believing that it's already happening and then start creating evidence for it. So for instance, if you, let's say that you want to have a promotion and you want to have a promotion in a particular area and first your, um, your mindset was it's impossible that you get that promotion because it's too high or it's 
not really that something many people get or whatever it is that you're believing. Now you want to start questioning what if it could be possible for you? What if you could do this? And what kind of a person you could be who does that and start doing, acting uh, that person, acting, being that person who does these things to get to possibility, right? So you start generating evidence for how it could be possible for you. Another uh, example could be uh, losing weight, for instance, um, or um, I don't know, like I'm, I'm trying to think of a tangible result or making money, right? So imagine being the, you're transitioning to a stage uh, or a, a life you want where it involves earning money or it involves losing weight or it involves taking care of yourself you start already acting that person who knows how to do that and start generating evidence, new evidence. Because as soon as our brains see new evidence or even some glimpse of it, we start believing that, ah, maybe it is possible. Ah, maybe it is probable. Maybe it's doable. Uh, it's in inevitable and then we start actually doing it. So um, you can see that, uh, Whatever the belief that you have, uh, not only about transitioning, and transitioning was just a specific example, but it could be about anything else that you're believing uh, to be true about yourself, about your life currently. Um, and even if you don't want to change your jobs and you want to stay where you are, but you want to just uh, transition within your mindset to be the person you want to really be, uh, respecting your values, um, living your life the way you want to without changing the external circumstances or your job or your location, your fa uh, family, whatever it is, you can still um, coach your brain to go from it's impossible to it's a done deal and all to go through all the steps in between. So you no longer uh, use that as an excuse for how uh, you will not be doing things or how uh, it's impossible so you don't even attempt to do anything about it, but rather allow yourself to have these options of changing your mindset from one to another one if you wanted to, right? If you wanted to, this is how you could absolutely do it. Now, I know that there will be a lot of... Um, uh, questions uh, as you will be doing this work a lot of uh, objections or res um, resistance your brain will be having as to uh, this is not going to work uh, who am I kidding I'm lying to myself how is that even possible why would I be doing this uh, what's the point of it right so there will be a lot of that and that's okay that your brain has it so you always uh, want to answer yourself why you are doing this, why you are um, taking charge of having the mindset that you want to be living the life you want, why your reasons are there to be doing what you want you are doing. And um, because if you ignore them and say, well, I'm not lying or uh, I'm... Um, what's the other ignoring parts could be that uh, I just need to ignore them and not look at these questions and just uh, keep working on it. Those nagging things will continue coming. So that's why it's important that you answer them. You answer them honestly and you answer them uh, in a way that serves you to say, this is the reason why you're doing it. This is the reason why you want to have a new mindset that says um, you can do this transitioning, that says you are totally capable of, capable of creating what you want to and creating the mindset of how you can always trust yourself and your abilities to create whatever you want to uh, instead of uh, feeling like you're always dependent on uh, everyone else or their opinions or their um, evaluations as to how you can uh, perform or how you can work uh, or how you can create an impact you want to. So whenever you use these measurements, uh, they will just be your own tools that 
you are using to say, am I believing that it's possible, for instance, right? And, or am I believing that it's probable? Am I believing that it's doable? Or do I think it's doable? And then start doing it. So it's no uh, reason to be showing to anyone else or saying that this is how um, I need to be measuring my progress or whatever. It's just your own tool in your own mind, in your own heart to be checking with yourself. How does that make you feel when you say it's possible that you can do this? How does that make you feel when you think it's inevitable that you're doing it? Because a lot of the things that we believe that we can do it, we don't even think about it's possible or it's possible. We just go to this is how things are, right? It's a done deal. This is how we operate. But when it comes to new things, when it comes to things that we believe are hard and difficult, we can't really do it. We always end in the impossible stage and we don't really go through any other stages. And therefore, we don't allow ourselves to uh, do the transitioning the way we want to. So that's why I really encourage you to um, go through these phases. Um, and it might be also that you go back and forth a bit in the stages, and that's okay, as long as you keep tracking yourself how you're doing in each of the stages, and how can you get yourself from one to another, then you will be able to create the mindset ready and necessary for transitioning successfully the way you want it. Okay, my dears, this is all what I had uh, prepared for you today. If you want coaching on this, please reach out to me. Let me know. I'll be very happy to do that. In the meantime, I want to remind you that um, the retreat on 12th and 16th September is happening uh, on Transitioning Humanitarians here in Bishkek where I am now and I will get ready soon to prepare um, and for that I would love to hear from you um, how many of you are participating so that I can start preparing all the things. Um, as I said I will be uh, looking for up to 10 people to coach in that retreat which follows by um, me doing a group coaching with these 10 people uh, for life to get them to um, the tra uh, transition in the way that you they want to and get all of the questions resolved along the way. Um, and all of this retreat and the lifetime coaching all together is $3,000. And I would be very happy to um, coach you uh, and accompany you to this journey that you are embarking upon. So please let me know about that as well. And I will be talking to you next Friday. Thank you.